I go by a hi-fi the other day. I came at home. I put it on. A needle falls just in front of the record. To rub it up against it. It's like a sniper machine gun got you in the back. Bring it back to the store, screams the wife. So I came it back to the store. The guy says, what's the matter? I tell him the needle falls just in front of the record. He says, I don't believe it. He takes out a record, puts it on. A needle falls right on the edge of the record. Where's it falling just in front of the record? He says, show me where it falls just in front of the record. I apologize. I came at home. I take out a record. I put it on. The needle falls just in front of the record. Bring it back to the store, screams the wife. I told you, bring it back to the store. Put it wake to the store. Bring it back to the store. I cab it back to the store. The same guy sees me coming. I hear him going, uh-oh, to a little fella with glasses. Before he could duck behind a life-size side of a boy with a guitar, I grab him. He says, what's the matter now? I says, I put it on him. The needle falls just in front of the record. He says, give it to me. He puts on the record. The needle falls right on the edge of the record. And out comes the sugar plum fairies, just as beautiful as if it was conducted by Shirley Temple herself. He says, there's nothing wrong with this machine. I says, all right, give me a new one. He says, there may be something wrong with it. Where do you play it? I tell him on the kitchen table. Maybe your table's slopey. He says, I says, slopey? He says, yeah, maybe one side of the table's higher than the other. Go buy a saw. I care at home, I buy a saw. I start on the two legs on the right side of the table and saw them down about a quarter of an inch. The wife comes in suddenly. Before I could explain, she swats me just on the inside of the mouth with a beautiful roast. I tell her the guy said the table's slopey. Now at least it's straight. To prove it, I take out the record player. I put on the record. Morning, I know the needle don't fall just in front of the sugar plum record anymore. It falls right in the middle of the record, splitting a fairy in half. The wife comes at me with a Swedish bread knife, but I throw a fly and tackle at her, tie up her legs and arms, and shove her in the bathtub. I go get the saw. I start sawing off the legs on the other side of the table to even her out, but the wife's muffled shrieks annoyed me and I went too far, because when I take out the record player and I put on the record, the needle falls just in front of the record. And the noise sounded like lightning just struck Oak Ridge. I take out the saw and start on the legs on the other side of the table, about half an inch. I take out the record player, I put on the record, it falls in the middle of the record. I take out the saw, I operate. I take out the record player, I take out the record, the needle falls just in front of the record. I take out the saw, I start on the legs on the other side of the table, the saw breaks, I cab it to the hardware store, I cab it back, I take off half an inch. I take out the record player, I put on the record, it falls in the middle of the record. I take out the saw, I operate. I take out the record player, I take out the record, the needle falls just in front of the record. The wife manages to climb out of the tub. She comes at me with an old console radio and lets me have it. I came to the hospital. Today in my house, we have one damaged old console radio, a man with a shattered mechanism in his head, a record player where the needle falls just in front of the record, and the shortest kitchen table in America. 